I love a good DIY project that you can complete in just under two hours. Hey guys, today we are tackling another summer trend, overalls. I feel like I have seen overalls, jumpers, like overall dresses everywhere this year and I love them so much. Like I said at the very beginning, this project took me less than two hours and definitely doable for you guys at home in just that amount of time as well. So this is a perfect project for a Friday night in, eating ice cream from the tub, playing some girly show in the background like Downton Abbey or The Bachelorette and sewing yourself up something new to throw in your closet for the summer. For this refashion, you will need a maxi skirt. It can be in whatever pattern or texture or fabric. This maxi skirt is one that I've had in my closet for a long time, but it has a big ol' stain right at the knee. All right, first things first, we're going to lay our skirt down on the floor and just chop off the excess bottom. So I am chopping enough off the bottom to where when I put this skirt on, it hits me right about at my knee. So the next thing we're gonna work on is taking out the elastic waistband along the front of the skirt. I want that to be flat and not stretchy because I'm going to attach the top of the overalls to that. So I don't want the elastic waistband on the front, but I do still want it in the back. Um, so I am opening up the side seams on both, side, both sides, um, just along the waistband. Um, the waistband is secured on the sides. So I'm opening that up and then I am opening the waistband right by the side and I'm sticking my scissors up and I'm cutting that elastic. Then I'm going to pin it in place so it doesn't move around on the back side of the side seams. And then I just pulled out the elastic from the front. Um, once I have that out, it's still along the back and it's pinned in place, remember? So I'm going to go back and sew um, over that, those places that I unpicked to reattach um, the side seams and the waistband and um, tack the elastic in place. Then I ironed um, the front waistband flat and I am adding a couple darts to the front. Um, because I took the waistband out of the front, the front is much wider than the back now, so I am adding some darts to even the sizing out and make sure that this fits right on the front of me without the waistband in the front. After that, I am going to create the top of my jumper dress. I am using some overalls I have um, and I am pinning those on top of that excess bottom fabric that I had before and I am cutting out the general shape. Um, you can eyeball this if you don't have overalls already at home. Um, not too complicated, look up lots of pictures. And I also went ahead and did the stripes um, horizontally for the top instead of vertically like the skirt. I just thought that this would add a little bit more interest um, I think this is just a super easy, fun way to mix things up when you have a print or a pattern like this. Just play around with alternating the direction and it changes it a lot. Um, what you see me doing right here is I am just finishing all the edges on that top piece. What is that piece called? A pinafore? A bib? I don't know. The top part of the overalls. I'll look it up later. <laughs> but I am just... Um, doing a simple double fold iron pin and then I'm going to go back in and top stitch all of that. Okay, next I decided to add a big oversized pocket to the top of my overall dress. Um, I feel like that's pretty characteristic of overalls, so I wanted to make sure to add that element. And again, I am playing with mixing the stripe direction. So because I made the top of my overalls a horizontal stripe, I am going to make my pocket a vertical stripe. Um, I'm, there's not really a fancy way I'm doing this. I'm just doing it kind of sloppily, playing with the size to figure out what size I want, cutting it out, um, finishing the edges, tucking them under, and then I'll go in and um, attach it with pins and then sew those three sides. And I also decided to add um, some pockets to my skirt portion of my overall dress. And again, I am doing the opposite 
stripe pattern to what it's going on top of. So since my skirt is vertical stripes, these pockets will be horizontal. And lastly, the thing I have done in a million of my videos, I am creating straps. This is the same method I do for straps or a belt. Um, I am just cutting out strips. Um, I'm cutting these strips four times as wide as I want my straps to end up being. Then I go in and fold it in half, iron, unfold, and then fold each side in half again. So just folding each side into the middle, iron, and then I will fold it closed again. And then once you have that all ironed, you'll take it to the sewing machine and do a top stitch. This is just a super easy, super fast, efficient way to do straps. Next, we want to attach the top of the overalls to our skirt. So I'm just lining up the middle um, as best as I can and I'm tucking this under. The reason I'm tucking it under instead of like putting right sides together is I don't want, um, because it's only around the front part, it will look weird if you do right sides together and unfold. Um, so I am just tucking it under very carefully, making sure that it's even, and the stripes really help in making it even. I am pinning that all the way across the front, and then I will take it to the sewing machine and do a top stitch. After that is done, I am going to attach my straps and I am doing straps that tie at the shoulder. So I'm actually attaching um, straps to the front and then different straps to the back. After that, we are all done. Let's see the final transformation. That'll do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this refashion. I am off to bed as soon as I finish this. <laughs> so good night, goodbye, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. I talk about food in every single one of my videos. If that doesn't tell you something about me. Does anyone have the problem of like sleeping on your side or like your head on your side and your ear hurts after a while? That's been bugging me lately and it's so weird. My husband says it's because I have very rigid ears. Like my ears are like hard and rigid and my husband's ears are like totally floppy and like bend bendy. <laughs> These are all the facts you want to know about me, I'm sure. <laughs>